in this tip of the day, let's take a look at how removing inner surfaces can be of great benefit when creating parts from multiple solid models. In this example, I already have a solid model created. Let's quickly create another one by heading over to the Command Manager, selecting Extrude, Extrude Curves. I'm going to left click the circle, right click, and I'm going to pull the extrusion down to right about there. I think that looks great. Now, before we can perform any additional work like adding fillets and things like that, we're going to need to combine both of these solid models together. To accomplish this, we're going to first need to select all of our geometry. I'm going to hit Control A, Control Alpha on the keyboard to select everything, head back over into the Command Manager, and from within our model operations, I'm going to select Union. Now at this point, this is one solid model. However, if we interrogate this, let's go to Verify, Retrieve Information About a Solid Part, and if I click, you'll notice that one CNC says that this has two regions. Notice how the sides of that cylinder that we extruded are still inside of the part. That's going to stop us from performing additional solid operations. Let's quickly head back into the Command Manager, select Fillet. I'm going to change our fillet radius to, let's say, 50 thousandths. I'll click OK to this. I'm going to left click that edge and right click and we're going to get an error message that says that one CNC can't create the fillets. And that's because of that extra internal geometry. Now we can get rid of that geometry by heading back over to the command manager, going back into our model operations, and this time we're going to select remove inner surfaces. I can now take my cursor and left click and that's it. Those internal surfaces are now removed. Now if we were to verify this, 1CNC says that this is a solid model with just one region. Let's go back over to our command manager, back into fillet, 50 thousands, we'll click OK, left click the edge and right click, and 1CNC creates the fillet. Alright, that's it for this tip of the day. I hope that helped out. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.